Gracious God, thank you for bringing us all safely together today to celebrate the wedding of Stephen and Amanda. Pickle. Wow, here we are. We've been planning this for so long and we have finally arrived. Hopefully you are reading this in the house, getting ready and not driving the convertible packed with you, the ring, the curve, and my butters. I just wanted to say how honored I am to be your husband. This is one of the greatest days of my life. The great thing is, this is only the beginning. I cannot wait to see where this world takes us. I remember the first day we met. I was in a trance walking through a door when I saw you. I told Danny, have you seen that smoking hot blonde that works at the coffee and wine bar? I knew you were out of my league then and I still know you're out of my league now, but nonetheless, you are still here standing by my side. Steven McStinks. Almost five years ago, you walked into my life. When you came through the door of Blondie's with your re resume, I thought, hot damn. Aside from an instant attraction, I felt like I had to know more about you. I still laugh about the fact that I interviewed you Hired you as our daytime bartender, and just a few months later, we were going on our first date. Throughout the early part of our relationship, I began to feel emotions that I truly hadn't felt before. You made me feel excited, motivated, and brought me happiness that I didn't know that I could feel. You have given me the best gift that anyone ever has, our precious butter pig. It brings me joy every day of my life stepped by me through my first year away from my family and friends while my heart was aching. You accept me for all that I am and all that I am not. I cannot imagine what the future holds for us both, but I am confident that with you by my side, the sky is the limit. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. Nothing you do goes un unappreciated. I sometimes joke that you're always off conquering the world, but truly, that's just what you do. Butters and I are so very lucky to have you in our lives. A wise guy once told me, a man's watch reflects his character. Hopefully this says, handsome, intelligent, hardworking, strong little man. All my love, Amanda, your pickle. Walking on down by the corner now. I appreciate so many things about you. One thing I want to point out, is I know that it was tough for you to move to Ohio and take that leap of faith. You trusted the process and me. I'm so thankful that you did because look at us now. I think the adversity like that has only brought us closer over the years and made you my best friend. I love you so much and I can't wait for you, me, and Butters to keep figuring out this crazy game that they call life together. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Please stand. When I get my hands on you. Wanna make you happy. When I get my Who gives this woman Amanda to wed this man Stephen? Her mother and I. Good afternoon. Welcome to a man in Stephen's wedding. What greater thing for two persons than to feel they are joined together to provide each other love, strength, and support, as well as share all the joys and challenges of life. This is a special time of celebration that Stephen and Amanda will long remember. And because of this, they are thankful that you are here to share their special day. You, Amanda, take Stephen, whose hand you hold, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good years and years of difficulty, to richer or poorer, keeping yourself faithful to him for as long as you both shall live. Oh, join hands. And to you, Stephen, take Amanda, whose hand you hold, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good years and years of difficulty, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself faithful to her for as long as you both shall live. I do. 
for me. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Chapter one. I just want to say thank you for everyone being here today. Seeing all the people you love in one place is emotionally overwhelming. So truly, thank you all for being here. <laughs> Almost five years ago, you walked into my life. Little did we know that that would change both of our lives forever. Although I had so much, you filled a hole in my heart. You are everything to me. You've pushed me to be the best version of me, and I know that will always include you. Steven, I take you today as you are, loving you for who you are today and who you are yet to become, just as you have taken me. I will celebrate your triumphs and mourn your losses as if they were my own. Promise to always root for the Buckeyes and support in-home remodel projects one project at a time. Pause for effect. I promise to always be your pickle as you are my melon. I promise faithfulness, patience, respect, lightheartedness, attentiveness, and continued self-improvement. And so today, surrounded by the people in this world that love us the most, I choose you, Stephen, to be my husband, and I'm proud to become your wife and make it official. I vow to support you, inspire you, and above all, to love you for all of the days that we're blessed to have. That's it. The rest of it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> Place that ring on Amanda's finger and state your vow. Not sure mine's as good, but we'll give it a shot. Wow, here we are. We've been planning this day so long, and we have finally arrived. Thank you everyone for coming, and thank you to my beautiful bride. You've been dealing with me for a long time, and I'm happy to say we have finally made it to this day. Amanda, you have some of the strongest qualities that I've always admired. Your loyalty, trust, motivation to succeed, your ability to go over the top with caring for betters than me, your patience with with dealing with every quote, crazy quirk about me, your patience with my friends, and my obsession with the Ohio State Buckeyes. I can remember walking into Blondie's the first time, and you were the only person behind the counter. I could not believe how pretty you were, and I was trying my hardest not to stumble over myself or say something stupid. I'm fairly confident I probably said something dumb and tripped several times that day. But luckily, you did not notice or you didn't let me know. I think of our long road, and the first thing that comes to mind is who would have thought we would make it this far. From, from day one, we have paired well. From me being the bartender slash team leader at Londis, and you being my boss, all the way to you moving to Ohio to share our lives together. Now here we are, in front of so many people that love and support us. You've been the constant part of me that has made me happy. I'm truly a lucky man. Now we are here on the beach saying our wedding vows. Amanda, I want you to know I vow to love you, encourage you, push you, protect you, take care of you if you are sick, trust you, respect you, and be there for you whenever you need me. I've listened to a lot of advice from friends and family and observed their lives in marriage. I know it will not be easy and we'll take everything we have to make it succeed, but I know we can. With that, I promise to do my best at being patient, being open, honest, and kind, and try to do it what is best for you and me. I love you more than words can express, 
but I hope this does the trick for now, and I look forward to continuing to show you through my actions every day. Stephen, it's your bride. Well, the honor of introducing to you Stephen and Amanda. Okay. What's up?